as a warm-up, before you begin to play songs at all, you should start to do some technical things that develop your skill level. Uh, one of them is that four-finger exercise that I wrote out for you, which I actually invented for myself. When I went to, uh, to college, I noticed that I'd been playing acoustic guitar for a couple of years. People around me who were a little older were using that little finger a lot, and I was not using it really except to play chords. I wasn't using it for single notes at all, just one, two, and three, mostly one and three. So to get that four finger working, what I did was I figured out this way of playing. And when you do that, you need to alternate in the right hand. If you're using a guitar pick, alternate by going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And then you want to do that on every string. Notice I'm starting out with all four fingers down, right? Nothing up in the air. As you get to the fifth and sixth strings, you'll see that on the back of the neck, that thumb has to move. It has to drop down to accommodate the arching of the fingers over the other strings. But the other thing you want to be sure of when you're doing this is that you're not laying your fingers down. We're not playing a flute here, not the pads of your fingers, but the very tips of your fingers. Exerting a downward pressure on the string is what we need. Open position notes. If we stop on C and hold the C's longer than the other notes, then the ear hears C as the root and we get that do re mi major scale. But of course that alone is kind of like tunnel vision if we just look from C to C, because in this case we can discover that below C we have available to us still in the key of C the following notes, B, A, G, F, and E. So we bring it back up to C so that you hear C last. And above C, we have D, E, F, and G. Without moving the hand, those notes are easily reached. So the big picture here is all the notes in the key of C that we find under the hand in open position. And we can think of this pattern of notes as something we call shape three because E being the lowest note is the third note or what we call the third degree, right, of the C scale. C, D, E, the third one. There is a movable shape based on that that you will learn after you can do this well. Right? And that allows you to play that same pattern of notes in any fret space and therefore in all 12 keys. So you have to move up and down and get to different keys. But that is how you would do it. For instance, in the key of F, where the third note is A, F, G, A, right? We find A on the sixth string and then play that same pattern of notes. It would sound like this. Again, coming back to that root note so the ear hears it last. That's the beginning of learning how to play all over the neck. We do that in the key of C where there are no sharps and flats to confuse things in the beginning. And once you can do it in C all over the neck, then you'll find it's relatively easy to shift to the other keys because the patterns are all the same 
and the order in which the patterns occur on the neck are the same as well.